Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins. On today's episode, we're taking it down to South Texas and we're fishing with Captain Mark Nichols from DOA Lures. Now, Mark's gotta be one of the luckiest guys in the world. He gets to go fish every single day, testing out new lure colors, new patterns, and just new techniques of how to catch these fish. One of the greatest guys I've ever got a chance to fish with, and I learn something new every time I get to fish with him. This show is dedicated to Captain Mark Nichols and DOA Lures. Y'all check this out, pretty good show. Oh, that looks nice. The intercoastal waterway. What size head are you using? I'm using an eighth. I can kind of dance it along there pretty easy without hitting the bottom too hard to snag. I'd throw in a quarter earlier, I definitely can, you know, it seems like these fish are reacting pretty slow, so if I can let it fall in there, work it a little bit slower, it seems to uh, produce a little bit better. In the summertime, I found that the swim bait hooks were very, very handy, as well as the uh, worm weight, you know, in front yeah. of the screw lock, because there was so much loose floating grass. The grass on the bottom, you can work through pretty well, but when you get all that loose floating grass, it makes it tough. So then you're starting to really go to your more extreme weedless stuff. Still works good where you can still get it down in there without just picking up. I've flat. experienced that grass oh. in the upper Laguna Mud. Oh, oh. oh. Well, that. sir. Supposed to suck Dang. That Come on. Good fish, y'all. It's a real fish. Good fish. Yep. Is it a T route? I can't tell you yet, sir. It's a trout, it's a nice one. I don't see it coming up or shaking. Uh, why don't you, uh, did you already did stop us. No, I didn't stop it, you want me to stop it? Yeah, I would. I think there might be more. It might be a trout, I'm not sure yet. I think it is. Uh, it might be a red trout, I'm not sure yet. Looks like a red trout. Yeah, it is. It was a good thump. I'll help you out with that. All right, Sarah, I got them wrapped Since up. you got one. Yeah. Get it out from under that. And you got one there. What are you trying to do there? I'm trying to do that. He was wrapped under his uh, fin there, and I was trying to be nice to him. Be nice to him, put him right here in my hand. Oh, Mr. Nichols has him a redfish on the board. Uh-huh. On the old go-to bait. Tell you what, on a oh, there he goes. I think he came off, did he? I think he might. Wait, no. Oh, oh, you mean? Oh no, I got another one now. Oh look, <laughs> I got one. <laughs> yeah, that's cool the way you can land them twice like that. Yeah, and, and fight all the way back. Yeah, really. He's still pretty green. Still feels pretty good. He looks kind of red to me, not green. Yeah, they, yeah. you're you're green. Oh, uh, I got him on the boat this hey, time. Hey, look, got him again. Uh, felt good. Arkansas glow he switches to. Arkansas glow. But that one right there, that's a pretty one. Same thing I hooked that flounder on. And no, no lesions or anything. Clean like. and happy fish right there. It's interesting here too, you'll catch one just kind of light like that, then you'll catch one that's got that real coppery look to it. They really vary. Well, I'm gonna go get me a variable one. I'm kind of excited now. I felt the thump, I know I got that. I, I got the vibe now. Strong. Oh, he's fixing the go. There he goes. Well, might as well. Everybody else has. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a wonder we catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, towing up. So what's our scenario we got here, Mark? Normally you're not gonna beat this place to death, but right now we've got a massive amount of water in the back. It's been pouring out a lot. We had, we've had extremely cold temperatures. This is deeper water, a comfort zone for these fish. They got stuff to feed on and they got deeper water. Good scenario. 
good flow coming out. Yes, sir. It's cracking for around here. Well, as you can see, it has not gotten warm enough for me to take <laughs> my socks off of my uh, feet yet. Yeah, so. it ain't gonna be running around on the beach or nothing. I'm glad I was hunting up in Kansas here last week because I did not bring my closed toe socks. The northern. You, you didn't plan the. Uh, you were thinking it might be warm or something? I was thinking it was talking it was going to be warm. Can I catch a fish? You can try. <laughs> There's no trying. There's a fish. Stop. I'm trying to get a way. It is a beautiful little trout. Nice little trout. Oh, come here. The sudden. Oh, the purple on these guys are just incredible. Come on, come on. Candy corn. Pretty fish. Not many spots on that one. Good quality sea trout, which just happens to be the most sought after species in salt water. Do you know that? Oh, what you got? Uh, you got something pulling some drag. I got something. That's a, that's a pretty good sized trout, I think. If that's if a, trout, a trout, that's a monster. It's a really nice trout. I'm, I'm being optimistic, but when it rolled, it looked, looked trouty. It looked trouty. It's acting redfishy. No, it's acting trouty. Big, big trouty. No, kind of redfishy. Yeah. Looking like a good redfish. Yeah, look at it. They do. That's a redfish. That's gotta be. It's a trout, it's a record trout. That's what I'm saying. Come on back to the back. I think uh, we're gonna have to land him back here. You guys don't mind. I wouldn't mind walking back here. You wouldn't mind what? Walking back here. It's a good thump. Well, you've earned it today. You've cast and you've cast. And yes, you've cast. I have. Cast a thousand, that's for sure. Red fish in the current. You gotta love it. Yeah, really. I shouldn't get too carried away by thinking it's absolutely a red fish. If it's a trout, however, it would be the biggest trout as far as pulling goes. Pulling like a jack. Pulling like a jack? Yeah, it is. I know it ain't a jack. There's a lot of amber in there. Oh, it's oh, a red. It's a red fish. Yeah, might have had him wrapped there for a second. I think you're right on the black drum deal. Yeah, it did turn into a black drum. I think it's a red fish that just turned into a black <laughs> drum, man. <laughs> yep. A blackie. Come on, buddy. We'll let you go. Just want to take a few pictures. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. I just heard an aggressive black girl. I'm gonna come down here and grab that fish. <laughs> She'll be all yours. He done edit, didn't he? Yes, he did. All yours. Come here. Oh, it's female. <laughs> that sound they make is so just incredible. Cool. Give me a little tension line. Yes, Hold sir. It. Boom. 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 Quite cool. Yeah. This is broken. A Texas croaker? Texas croaker. Yes, we're coming back. We're fighting back against the candy corn. 
and they just kind of pull. Come on, let's hear you. I think she's done. Boom, boom. Let me go, let me go. Too cool. And off I go. I guess if we uh, if we wanted to keep a fish, those are supposed to be pretty good, aren't they? I like them when they're still got the stripes. A little smaller. Yeah. Come on, be in that pothole. This is like the Everglades out here fishing these flats because every pothole looks like it's yeah, it's supposed fish. to be it's supposed to be the one. And we are definitely doing the Texas drift now. We got about 18 mile an hour yeah. winds behind we us. We got it like like it. And we keep going from spot to spot to spot to spot to spot. And right. uh, cut, they all look good. They all look awesome. So. Things might look different in about five minutes when we make another change, and then five minutes later, or 30 minutes later, we're doing about 30 minute drift. Ooh, dang. That was a bite, it was like here. There's the fish. Ain't a big one. Pulling back a little. Shaking his head. And I thought it was further. Oh, that ain't a bad trout. Yeah, actually, that trout's got a little bit of weight to it right there, sir. That one's got a little bit of weight to him. Look at that, he's wearing that candy corn like a candy mustache. Candy corn. Ugh, come here, dude. Yeah, that one's got a little bit of, a little bit of size to him. Got that little, come here. There he is. Don't flip out on me now. I'm getting it out for you. I'll try it anyway. There we go. The old candy corn fooled him. Beautiful trout. Look at his eyeballs moving around. What a gorgeous fish. Yep, my favorite. He's going out of here. That was a pretty one. That was a nicer one. Uh, at least you didn't threaten to take him to the frying pan tonight. Good thing I didn't think about it. Hey, does the corn go on the top or the bottom? Well, see, I noticed that you put yours a different way than I put mine. And I think, you know, I'm still arguing the side to side might be, a, you know, a decent. Oh, and then, when you catch the fish, you can see which side he ate. Yeah. So you know which side to I use. Got you there, brother. Profound technical things we've discovered while fishing. That's a fish right there. That's a money, that's a money cast. What'd you put on yonder? Oh, I put on one of them uh, candy. Orange. Okay. Yet another Texas trip. They're so much fun. Almost as fun as working a DOA shrimp. Another soup nothing's song biting. about Texas. That's pretty boring. For miles and miles of rambles on. You hearing what I'm saying to you? Yes, I do. I'm saying unless something's biting, that's a boring bait to work. Yeah, uh, but I think it's the most effective one out of the whole DOA lineup. Well, there are a lot of people here put them under a cork and catch a ton of fish with them. Hey, look, that's redfish steak. There's another redfish. Maybe that's the redfish steak, or that's the trout steak. There's a fish. See, that's a right good one. by, was it right by redfish steak? It was right by redfish steak. Uh huh. Yeah. I want it to be a trout though, this oh, big. Oh, it's pulling much better than a lot of other fish that we have caught, sir. Oh, I see it out there. I'm gonna get it. I think it's just in the grass. Nope. It uh, grass. It's a decent fish. Is that a it's, trout? It's a little red in it's color. It's a red trout. Oh, he's running him? at me, running at me. There he is right there. They like rolling up on these things, don't they? He's going under the boat now. How come you're letting him go under the boat? Oh, I 
Uh, can you let him go under there? He likes the bottom wow. of the skeeter. <laughs> he must be a professional the way you follow that. Wow. There looks like some grass in there. Coming to you. All that grass. Hey, you. <laughs> Howdy. How you doing? Howdy, Mr. Redfish. How you doing, Mr. Red? Man, that's not a bad man. fish there. Got him? Not yet, not yet. Got him. There we go. That was my 999. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of rest up easy now. Candy corn. Beautiful little specimen of a redfish. It is. <clears throat> yeah, good job. Hey, that water's Got salty. Of it. Yeah, it is. Very salty. It's kind of like salt water. Dang, we passed that steak pretty quick. Yeah, we did. That was redfish steak. Hey, that was probably one of the offspring of the great white redfish. Ask me what I caught him on. What'd you get him on? The third twitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rig It Right, brought to you by Lose. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what Mark and I were out there throwing today to catch all these fish. I absolutely love throwing this fluke tail cowl with a 16th ounce jig head in it because we were fishing water that was so shallow and about halfway through the water column there, there was grass. So you don't want a really heavy jig head when you're jigging through that grass because it'll get down on the bottom and get caught up. So I was throwing the 16th ounce jig head, something I could work really, really slow. And Mark happened to be throwing the Arkansas Shad. And this is the Arkansas Glow Shad. It's the three inch cowl and it looks so much like a mullet and it just resembles all the fish that were out there that were bait fish that the fish were targeting. We both were throwing the M2 and this is the 7-2 inshore series by Luz. Had it rigged with a BW25 size reel, perfect combination, really, really light, and we could cast it all day long. And had it rigged with the Seaguar Smackdown and this is the dark green. And if y'all like the dark green guys, make sure you pick up a bunch of it because it's all going to the flash green and the stealth gray, but the green still does a great job out there if you can find it. Also had it rigged with Seaguar, and this is the 20 pound test, and this is fluorocarbon, and this is the gold label. And it's the thinnest diameter fluorocarbon out there on the market today, and uh, the abrasion resistance is still Seaguar quality. Works very, very well. Had everything rigged up, and every piece of plastic I put in the water these days, I put Procure on it, just to cover up that human sin. If it brings me one more hit during the day, it's done its job. That about covers the rig it right for today. Hope you guys can get out to South Texas and maybe y'all can go down there and get some good weather and catch some mogans. Rig it right, brought to you by Lose. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's show, Texas Toast. Always love going down and fishing South Texas because it reminds me a lot of home. I guess it has something to do with the latitude line that we're on there in Texas. It's the same lat line as the Space Coast is. Just miles and miles of great fishery down there. And they say everything's bigger in Texas, but you know, Mother Nature had kind of put a kibosh on the big fish this trip, so you know what that means. I gotta go back and do it again. That wraps up today's show. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Head over to the tackle shop and you can pick up anything that you see us use here on Addictive Fishing. That wraps it up, so we'll see you on the water. Get out there and catch them up. Get out of the damn way, idiot. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. You got a mess. Hold on. Huh. That's a cool looking fish, ain't it? Stop me, sheephead boy! Some duck hunters nearby. It's a wee trout. What did I get? An oyster. Well, we got our... <laughs> Cut.